William Hutchison, Armenia, Columbia Realty for expats and Salento, Columbia Realty. I'm over in uh, Lorelli's Barrio this morning. I want to give you a bit of a look at uh, the Barrio. We're going to walk around. I think the video will be a little bit longer than normal. Uh, it's a little bit dull this morning, uh, April, uh, one of the rainy months in uh, Colombia. And we do need the rain. The farmers are uh, really hurting, especially the cattle farmers. Uh, the pastures are drying up. So let me get the camera turned around and uh, we'll start to have a look at the burial. Here's uh, Lorelli's uh, grocery store. I did a video on that a while ago. Next door is a burger uh, joint. And then here is Cubano, which is a really nice uh, sandwich uh, shop. Yet uh, uh, they're a step up from Subway. I, I haven't been to Subway for many, many years, but with the comments I read from now and again and everything, it's not uh, the, the best place to be. Um, across from Lorelli's now we have this new building going up. They took out about three nice little restaurants and then we have uh, um, a boutique, uh, an optical store, and then this one here, Cruz Verde, is a drugstore. Okay. This is Calle Bantidos, okay, and if you look down here, you can see uh, apartment buildings and, and so on. Let's get across the street. There's no cars coming right now. Lorelli's doesn't open until 8. And we're here at about 7. It's a nice burial because you can walk everywhere. If you come here for any period of time and you're renting, you don't need a car. As a matter of fact, if you bought here, you wouldn't need a car either. It's a restaurant here on the corner, uh, advertising uh, El Muerzo's. It's a nice bake shop there too. And then up here is, uh, I think that's a beauty salon, barbershop, and then more apartments. This is a popular spa uh, here on the corner, massages and so on. Here's a bit of a bar. Uh, I think it's just kind of a, go and have a drink type of thing. I don't think there's any uh, dancing or that sort of thing. This building here is about three years old. High rise. Looks like about 12 floors. All of this is the loading area for Lorelli's. All in here. No trucks here right now. And let's walk down here. This is Kaje 15. I'm sorry, Carrera 15. And uh, one thing I like about uh, Armenia and a lot of Colombia, they have the streets numbered as opposed to named. So, for example, that last corner we were on is, oh. is uh, Kaje 15, Carrera 22. Uh, I'm sorry. Carrera 15, KJ 22, you know where that is. If it's the corner of Elm and Maple, uh, like they, most of the streets are up north, uh, you don't really know where that is, but here with the numbers you do. When did he ask? Here's, um, they call this Marijuana Park. And it's just been recently updated. There's some more uh, residential buildings and so on. These streets get very busy during the day. The, uh, the street here that we're on, Carrera uh, Quince, Dos Mujeres de Armenia, Buenos Dias, a uh, little tienda here. Um, I don't know what this is, so it looks like uh, optometrist again. And then, I don't know what this is, but uh, commercial outlets, another view of the park here. A lot of dog walking, a lot of people here have multiple dogs. Uh, and there it looks like someone is selling something, some kind of artwork. 
The building here, there you see at the very, very end, was derelict for a number of years, uh, owned by a uh, drug, um, apparently, uh, a drug dealer, and the government confiscated it. Well, this is not uh, sold artwork. It looks like garbage bins. Isn't that nice? Here's, uh, I mentioned this before. This is Guatine. They're the little rodent that's very non-aggressive. Uh, put out fruit, they'll come. And uh, if they have babies, they'll bring the babies. A, a better look at the park. This is a beautiful little park. Okay. And they've just upgraded it not too long ago with uh, swing sets and slides for the kids. These are nice apartments here. This row, they're uh, a little higher uh, price. Uh, the location here uh, gets um, an increased price. Here's another little area for the kids. Within probably 300 meters of this park, there's two or three more. Armenia has a lot of parks. Uh, one, probably the 300 meters away, is Parque de la Vida, and it's like walking through a forest in the middle of the city. Lots of wildlife, ponds, uh, waterfalls, and so on. There's some other commercial places down here, down this street. And then at the end is some nice residential buildings. You can't see them all because of the trees. This is kind of typical look for Armenia. Here's another block of apartments. Not quite the quality or the price of these ones here that I showed you earlier. But still, nice apartments. A lot of vegetation and everything. Buenos dias. Um, the big advantage here to uh, Lorelles is the proximity to the main street. And we're just going to go up there. I'll finish the video up there. Another apartment block here. Five stories. Uh, that uh, apartment wouldn't have an elevator. Well, one of the things you have to watch in Armenia is that uh, up to five stories, there's usually no elevator. Six and up, they have to put an elevator in. Here's a schnauzer, a white schnauzer. Schnauzer Blanco. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Venga conmigo. Venga. Venga. A lot of people here have dogs. Quant uh, is muy joven, no? Yo tuve seis schnauzer on mi vida. La Candelaria. If you have an apartment here on the back, you're a lot better than you are on the front because as I said, that, that one uh, street, uh, I'll get it right this time. Carrera Quince Avenue 15 is very busy. Okay. Along here you have a mix. Residential and some commercial. There's no real zoning in Ar Armenia. You get a lot of mixed areas where you have... Um, Ex I, I guess I'd call it acceptable commercial with residential, uh, no uh, industrial. Mountains in the distance, a lot of cloud cover this morning, clouds are low. This is a big block of apartments, towers. 
So right now we're on Cadet 14 Avenue Boulevard, one of the main streets, actually the main street of Colombia or of uh, Armenia. And here we are across from Portel. So you can see a very short walk. We're just gonna walk a little bit up the street. Again, uh, this Cadet 14. Bolivar, very busy, uh, lots of buses, trucks, taxis. Uh, I was told there's 1,700 licensed taxis in Armenia. Then you add that to uh, Lyft and Uber, and there's probably 2,000 in a city of 330 thousand people that seems like a lot especially with the buses I think they could get rid of half the buses so Portel I don't know if you can see it they have the Kentucky Fried in the front you can see the sign there against the apartment building largest mall in Armenia some other residential here but you don't want to have an apartment if noise is you know, something that you're not keen on. I'm not, so I could never be in any of those apartments. Here they are here. Portel finishes here, and then you've got apartments of various sizes. The down part of them is commercial, small tiendas and so on. Tiendas along here, boutique erotica, um, a couple of little restaurants, there's a paper shop here, a couple of bars going up towards the corner here. There we just had two buses go by, all going, three buses, all going in the same direction. I sat here one day, a friend of mine had a restaurant here, sold it, and uh, just for fun, I counted nine buses going south and the nine had a total of one passenger. So here's another little uh, bar. Buenos dias. I just want to take you up to the corner kind of to finish, finish the route. Okay, there's a bakery there. Another apartment building with the white balcony, five floors, no elevator. This one here is a hostel, like a hotel. Uh, it should have an elevator because it's commercial. It has actually, it looks like five floors plus a, a um, some kind of a patio, enclosed patio up on top. This one here again, five floors, no elevator. Apartment on the top level will be very cheap to either rent or buy. Not many people want to be walking up five floors. Okay. Here we are, another uh, bar, disco, probably at night. Uh, here's another one. You wouldn't have to go far to change your seat for sure. And here we are back at Cruz Verde where we started. <clears throat> this building across the street, it had an apartment for sale for about four years. I don't know if it's sold or if it's off the market. I don't see it now. But look, look at the noise you'd have here all day. I mean, you got the big trucks, you got the buses, you got all kinds of cars, you got motos. There's just been four or five buses go by now while I've been standing here for 30 seconds. <laughs> and uh, the apartment was cheap. In the U.S. it was about 80 or $85,000. And of course it didn't sell. Or as far as I know. Now here's another bus going south. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you see this at this traffic light because it's what I'm talking about. It's really 
it's really interesting. You know, the, the city doesn't have a pile of money, and yet they're running these buses all in the same direction. Here's another one, you know, and there's one, another one coming. Three buses in the same direction. I mean, you think you could plan routes better than that, but that's just my opinion. There's that other building that we're talking about. Okay, so long video today, but you get the uh, feel for Lorelli's. One of the burials you want to live in if you don't have a car. Walk everywhere, little restaurants. I didn't get to see, uh, to see them all for you, but uh, just a really nice place to live, okay? William Hutchison, Armenia, Columbia Realty for expats and Salento, Columbia Realty. Signing off, have a great day. I live in paradise and you can too.